Cool. So uh, I'm going to uh, discuss uh, a very simple experiment that you can do in your own lab. Uh, so all you need is a room which is completely dark uh, and a flash uh, that you can buy for, uh, for very cheap. Um, and the experiment is uh, basically you dark it out uh, for a good six minutes uh, and then you uh, flood the, light, the, uh, the room with light uh, so that um, after about two, three, maybe five seconds, you'll get a very strong um, after image, a positive after image. And that after image can be manipulated with, uh, like by, by moving your own body. Uh, so uh, basically it's, it's just a way of, uh, of looking at how uh, visual information and sort of uh, proprioceptive information uh, is, uh, is integrated. It's kind of, it, it gives a, the quality of it is kind of cool. Um, so basically what you need is, uh, as far as a flash, uh, this, this I got a pawn shop. It's, uh, it's a really bad uh, Canon flash, I think. Uh, from the 90s, uh, it's rated 78, so that's, uh, so, so you want either something which is rated 78 or higher, uh, so that determines the strength of the flash. Um, like, it's, it's not very strong. Uh, so it's, it's not very strong, but it's strong enough for, uh, for our purposes, basically. Um, so, uh, so, so once again, you just uh, sit inside this, uh, this room, uh, you wait for six minutes, and then uh, so so this this flash can be triggered uh, by a button which is uh, hidden by this black electrical cape here. Uh, so I had set up an external trigger uh, by um, because I, I thought I was going to need to trigger it uh, remotely, uh, but uh, in the end, like you can just keep it in your hands, and it's it's good enough for our purposes. Uh, so what you want to do is have the flash relatively close to a body part. Uh, let's say the hand, and you trigger it once you're dark it active. So after about uh, four or five seconds, you'll get this strong uh, positive after image. What you can do then is move away your arm, and what will happen generally is that you get the feeling that uh, the arm uh, in the after image sort of fades. And if you put your arm back in, it sort of fade, fades back in. So it's as though uh, the image, the, the after image is somewhat updated by uh, proprioceptive uh, information. Uh, another thing you can try is to move your gaze. Uh, so once again, you uh, just uh, uh, flash uh, towards your hand, and then you move away your gaze, and you'll see that uh, rather than following your gaze, as it should, like for any sort of after image, uh, it seems that the hand fades away from your representation. And if you move your gaze back, to the original position, your hand fades back in. Um, so that's a, a couple of nice things you can try. Another thing is uh, you hold uh, a ball or some sort of object in your hand, and uh, during the after image, you drop it. Um, and at that point, depending on uh, like how well you're doing it, uh, the object might fade from your visual consciousness. So you keep the hand, but somehow the object goes away. Uh, so, which is really weird, you know. It's like uh, it's like there's a representation for tools somewhere, and it's not really clear what it means. But it's it's the quality of it is kind of cool. Another thing you can do is uh, uh, this is more in line with uh, Ramachandran's uh, sort of experiments. Is uh, you flash uh, your legs, uh, so just flash like this, and then uh, there's a certain amount of time between the time that you flash and the time that you get the positive after image. So in between the two, you stand up. And what will happen is that when the image, uh, when the after image comes on, you'll have this feeling that your legs are sort of like this, you know, as though you're sort of amputated, and levitating, <laughs> or, you know, you're a dwarf or something. It's really, it's really kind of a fun uh, feeling to get. Um, and uh, yeah, once you're adapted for six minutes uh, and you, uh, you do the flash, you can repeat the experiment uh, every two minutes. That's according to the original protocol. Uh, so what you want to do is, uh, you know, put your iPod on and uh, put some music on. Because otherwise, uh, you know, standing in the dark for that long is, is really boring. And uh, you can get a, an application for your phone that uh, gives off a beat every two minutes so that you know, you know when you should, uh, you should do the experiment. 
And uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, it's kind of a it's kind of a neat experiment to try, and it really doesn't take a lot of equipment, or it's not very long, so have fun.